Okay, so in this DI example, if you remember in week four, I had one that was based upon previous summative data, and I put students in the group based upon their readiness. In this one, students get to decide which group they're in. They can either be in group A, group B, or group C um, by whichever one they want to learn about. Um, so to introduce this lesson, this is going to be done on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, I'm going to start by just kind of going over like what footprinting is, and then I'll also talk about like malware, viruses, Trojan horses, and then writing a virus. So I'll tell students, if you are, um, <clears throat> you know, if you're in this class and you're at a, a lower level or a basic level, um, and you, st you don't quite know what a Trojan horse is or a virus is or one of those things, this is the group for you. You can go into here. If you are um, super advanced in this class and you know what viruses are and like you're ready to give it all, this is probably the more advanced group. This one, you kind of get to write a virus and you use Metasploit and get to see that. And for those students that are interested in, you kind of know what malware is and Trojan horses and viruses, um, but you don't quite think that you're at this level yet, this is a great thing for you. You can learn about footprinting. So students will have each one of these will take about it'll take about 45 minutes for students to work through whichever group they choose, either group A, group B or group C. So they'll be kind of in their groups and they'll work through that through 45 minutes. And then I'll have students report out to the class what they learned. So group A will report out to the class what they learned about footprinting. Um, and then obviously when they're reporting about it, I'll reinforce the concepts that are most important. Group B will report out to the class about what they learned about viruses and Trojan horses. And Group C will um, report out to the class about what they learned about writing viruses and what Metasploit is. Um, and so this is like a student choice kind of uh, DI thing, um, not necessarily based upon readiness. However, students can kind of evaluate their readiness and put themselves in a group based upon where they think they're at. So um, I'm not putting students into groups, though. They're choosing their own groups uh, for this particular one. The last video, though, they had to, I put them in. A specific group. So, yep. Okay. So, this is another DI example uh, in cybersecurity.